Guys, this is gonna be a contest entry for Reptiles TV's contest, and I can show you a lot of different stuff, which I will. But in my opinion, there is not there are not too many things on our Earth that can overpower the beauty, strength, and just all over intelligence and just the just amazingness of a big snake which is why I'm going to take out this probably about it's not huge but it's about a seven foot uh, Colombian red tail boa it's actually not mine specifically it is a partnership kind of own and it's actually Boaz 04's and he has it over here on a breeding loan because we're going to be breeding this big girl here pretty soon. She just needs to. Everybody's in cooling right now so we're just waiting for that to finish up and then We'll start going ahead with the pairings. All right, big girl, come on. Don't get this typical. There you go. There you are. And there you go. This snake has made a lot of progress. It used to be really, really nippy. Never got held at all. Never got really much of any attention. It was solely for breeding purposes, but got turned, once it got brought to my house, got turned into a very, very mellow, pretty decently cool snake. All right? Like, if a snake was not reasonably cool, I would not be letting it do what I'm letting it do right now. And, I mean, you can see, I'm trying to give you a close-up and stuff of just how beautiful that snake is. Like, look at that thing. And then, if you look, you can kind of see the red in the tail. You're letting go, so we can see all your red. But, there you kind of go. You can kind of see the red. And you can see that she just wants to see the camera. You can see a really pink belly and everything. So... I mean, it's a good size, probably about six and a half feet, maybe not seven feet total, but I mean, look at that. For a snake that a couple weeks ago was a demon biting at us, hissing at us, wouldn't even let us open up the cage or come in the room bother, at least for me, I wasn't even able to come in the room without it hissing at me. So pretty much, I'm very happy with what this snake has done and with what has come of this snake in really really good shape really healthy um it's got a lot of weight to it it was pretty skinny when we got it but i mean now it's completely healthy i mean you can tell it's healthy exploring it just got a full shed it had some shedding problems and we fixed those up too so i mean this snake is pretty much back to the health and uh temper and everything that it should be as a pet rather than just a breeder. So what we're going to do, we're going to put you back and we're going to show the nice people your cage. What I have, I have one little log over here 
under the basking where it can kind of coil around and stuff and get a hold, feel a little bit more comfortable under the basking spot. The basking spot there, got a fluorescent bulb. I don't really need a fluorescent bulb, but I choose to have one. Really, really strong, sturdy cage. I have the lock here. Everyone should have a lock if you have a big boa cage with sliding glass door or any type of doors, really. Because the last thing you want is your boa getting out. I mean, it's just really nice. I mean, look at it. It's totally exploring. It's interested in everything. Got some more. Or another log over here. Got a big water dish in the back for it. It fits perfectly in there. And got a hide that's just made out of a box. And that, again, it fits perfectly in there.